my friends. It's been a beautiful day here in the Philippines. I was just outside enjoying the last remaining sunshine for the day. But now I'm eating some delicious frozen strawberries from Baguio City. And I'm just relaxing before I go have a meeting about doing a TV show. And when I get home, I'm gonna edit some video for you. Today, we're filming a TV show. And right now, they're filming us and everyone's having a good time. It's always great. I appreciate that we're, we live these lives where we're blessed enough to be able to have opportunities to do this. And I'm sure that you guys have a lot of things in your life to be thankful for. How have you met? Uh, Nakilala Kosi Imabel, Nuang 2006. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nakilala sa party sa the Fort Taguig okay. city at <laughs> Nikita Kosha. At that time, I was still working full time for a TV station, and then on the side, I handle talents. Mm -hmm. So, sabi ko, bonga, inaraket ko to. So, the questions I had were, do you have a manager, exclusive kabasang kahit ng agency? And then, sinagut naman niya. As manager, si Imabel ay Matalino at Masipag. <laughs> Those guys are happy to be on the shoot today, huh? Yep. Happy to be employed here in the Philippines. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That shoot was quick and easy, just the way I like it. Imabel, these days you're on TV almost as much as me, I think. Yeah, well I worked for a TV station, but I didn't really think about being on cam, but that's fun. You worked behind the scenes yes. before for another TV channel. Now we're often, you're often on camera talent for a different channel. That's true. Years ago when we were going around trying to hustle for acting gigs for me, I kept telling you, you should be an actor too, as long as we're going around trying to get acting jobs. Why just try and get them for me only? Well, that's possible, but I prefer hosting events. Yeah, but you're quite a good actor. Thank you. You know, Manila is known for having such bad traffic, but it's not all that bad today. Someone said to me on one of the comments of my videos, Travis, you always say you've never had a bad experience in the Philippines. I don't believe you. And I never said I've never had a bad experience in the Philippines. I've said I haven't had many bad experiences in the Philippines. Wherever you are, you're always gonna have some bad experiences. But those experiences are what make us grow as people. And you can't appreciate the good times without going through some bad times. Do you have already a tinola? Uh, I haven't done tinola. Oh, tinola? Yeah. Adobo oh, and dinuguan. Only two? Do you like dinuguan? Yes, I love. One of my favorite. Adobo? Food. Yes, of course. Sinigal na babo, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you have to watch all my other videos. No pain, no gain. I believe it was the great American Benjamin Franklin that first came up with that. He said, you cannot expect to make gains without experiencing pains. I know a lot of people these days, including a lot of people that watch this channel, they just want the easy life. But in reality, nothing worth having comes easily. Well, so much for that. I think we should get out of here and grab something to eat. Anong gusto mo? Anong gusto mo? Ah, she she shy now. Ah. How old are you? Six years old. She's six years old, coming into restaurants in the mall, begging for money. Viva! Huh? For all you guys that are watching this to learn things in this situation, one thing you have to be careful of, especially if there's more than one of them. You gotta be careful, sometimes they'll have one kid beg or try and sell you something, but that's more of a distraction, and they'll have the other kid try and pick your pocket. So, be very careful about that. I'm not saying she's doing that, but it's a common thing here. 
Okay. Well, I'm thankful for all the great comments that you guys leave on these videos. I'm glad that so many people have been enjoying these videos and there's a lot more on this channel for you to check out.